Hey, this is Pizza Dude Man, and uh, as I said last time, we're moving on to Bear Hugger, and as you can see, this time he has a hat! That, that doesn't really make too much of a difference, I would imagine. Alright, let's go! Yeah, this time he's like, uh, uh, is it time to fight already? I, uh, I was, uh, I'm kinda tired, you know? <laughs> hey, that's the guy that beat you up! You're right! Let's go up there and play hockey with a squirrel! <laughs> Bear Hugger has the greatest training montages. Oh, where's his hat? Where's his hat? There it is! It's moving. Yep. Bear Hugger has a squirrel with him, and it's weird how it's incorporated. So, you can't really stun him uh, until uh, he shows off his squirrel. When that happens, it's usually a chance to get a star off of him, and you need to hit him with a star in order to stun him at all to do combos on him. There's a few other little tricks with here. When his squirrel appears before a punch, it's delayed, and usually easier to get stars off of. Um, if you hit him with two stars, you can do a longer combo, like this. If you hit him with three stars, he will automatically go down, so that's a nice little trick to keep in mind. Once you knock him down once, he gets a little harder to stun. Oh boy. In any case, uh, we're almost definitely gonna go to round two with this guy. I almost always do. Only at, like, my peak was I able to take this guy down in round one. Right now, I'm just not feeling super confident about, like, countering every hit I see. Because it's really hard to do while I'm talking. <laughs> right now, I'm just fighting, trying to heal as much as possible, and, uh explain what's going on. Yeah, that's another one of the newest hits, uh, the catch and release attack. It's just a delayed bear hug attack. When he does a bear hug attack with his squirrel, it's a taunt. So it's a good chance to uh, get a star off of him and then beat him up. Remember though, don't use a star on him until he's stunned. Like, if I had used a star punch there, it wouldn't have worked. God, I'm pretty sure that's what all Canadians sound like. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you so hard, you're gonna see Northern Lights. God, so silly. See, I gotta hit him once, that stuns him, then you do the Star Punch. Don't do the Star Punch right away or you'll just waste it. All right, all right, that's a good start to round two. Let's heal up as much as we can. I'm going to try to do a few more counters than I have been. I'm still not do sure about doing counters for his actual bear hugs. Those are tough. Squirrel! Uh, or those ones. Those ones are tricky. I usually like to wait until I have at least two stars. If he gives me an opportunity for three stars, then I'll take it. Like this, and then, oh, I messed up on what I just said. You have to stun him first before you hit him with, with stars. Whoops. Okay, now let's stun him, and then we can just take him out. And like I said, three stars, automatic knockout. Bam. All right, if, we, if uh, we can do that again, this round's as good as done. All right, let's go, let's go. Another squirrel. Wow, two squirrels in a row. And then a real one. We're just going to beat him up. Bam! I like not to waste an opportunity when I have two stars. Otherwise, you'll only get a few hits off of him. Whoops. Oh, I should have hit him. He had a squirrel. Oh, well, I just... I saw that he was down on health, so we can just beat him up. We're done! And there goes the squirrel! Alright, well, that's Bear Hugger down. Of course, what that means is next is Great Tiger, who, like I said, along with like Soda Popinski, is probably one of my toughest guys in title defense. Oh, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> He's actually not that hard if you play it safe, but if you try to do the little tricks, you're just gonna get beat up, and I, I like to do the little tricks. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's go. 
According to his height, I'm actually taller than Great Tiger in real life. Huh. Alright then. Hey Mech, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, he has a lot more magical tricks now. Uh, apparently, uh, he has expanded his mystical powers outside of India. That's uh, something that Indians can do, you know, is uh, train their mystical powers in other parts of the world to become more powerful. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. When he's red, he's going to hit forward. Uh, when he's blue, he's going to go to the right. And then when it's green, he's going to go to the left. But you can, like, pre-hit him if you know what the colors are. Okay, right, left. Okay, so right, and then you hit him. Left, then you hit him, and you get a star. And I know there's a way to get the stars off of the red ones, too, if you, like, hit him in the center, but I, that's something I actually learned more recently, so I'm not super confident in performing it yet. If the light shines, you can hit him in the direction he's going to go, and maybe you'll get a star. Ah, woo! That was, I was sure he was going to hit me there. <laughs> okay, this is a lot harder than his last magic attack. Watch this. Oh, Jesus. He can come from either side. You just got to look at which one's more solid. If you want to, you can try to counterpunch him. If you can counterpunch him, you can do a lot of extra damage to him. But you will probably get beat up in the process if you don't have much experience doing it. And at my peak, I was at a point where I could hit him more consistently. Right now, it's risky. But I still like trying it. Whoa! Middle means you got a duck. He's going to do a big double punch. And he'll start incorporating that into his combo hits. Whoa! That was close. We're definitely going to round two. Honestly, with Great Tiger, I could even go into round three. Aw, oh, he's not barely giving me any time for the combo. Oh, I was right, left. Aw, oh, man. And then if he had done the middle one, I could have hit him and then gotten the star. Oh, well. I'm going to save my chocolate bar for if I need it between rounds two and three. <laughs> for the most part, I'm trying to play it mostly safe so I can beat this guy. It'd be kind of a pain if I lost. Alright, let's go. He's going to start with that. Alright, I'm really going to focus and see if I can hit him. Right. Oh, shoot. Left. It's so fast, sometimes I can't catch it in time. Ugh. Talking while trying to do it doesn't help much either. <laughs> Alright. Middle. That's gonna make Sandman fun. Sandman is very similar, actually. Sandman is scary. <laughs> about as fast as Soda Popansky and about as tricky as Great Tiger. But, you know, I don't know. With him, I lost him so much that I just practiced and practiced and practiced until I started to get more patterns down to get stars and stuff. Great Tider and Sona Popinski, I just kind of get by on. <laughs> oh, shoot! Too early. Gotta be careful for that. Yeah, after you've knocked him out once, instead of just going to the positions, he will actually teleport. So you don't want to anticipate that too much. And yes, a star! You might, yeah, I mean, it's, it can be tougher to get stars off this guy, but you'll want to save him up, because if you can hit him with the magic rush, uh, while he's, oh, shoot, doing that, you can, uh, you can take him down really fast. I'm just not that skilled to do something like that. Alright, let's see if we can get it. There we go. There we go. There, oh, I had it, I thought I had it. Oh, no! Oh, I thought I was doing okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, he is beating me at this point. This is not good. Oh, boy. We better, uh, knock him out at least one more time before the round ends. Okay. Right, right, left, right. Okay. Right. Right. Left. Right. Oh, shoot! If I had just done that a little bit later, I would have got him. Oh, well. We're definitely going into round three. Gosh, at this point the chocolate bar would, well, wouldn't make a difference at all, really. I'm going to be all healed up. Well, unless he smacks me around these last 15 seconds. Let's see it. Now it looks like we don't need the chocolate bar. We just simply uh, have no need for it. Oh. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going to eat it anyway because I might as well. I won't have another opportunity. <laughs> Give some Doc some chocolate there. Even if I lose this battle, Doc will have eaten chocolate. Alright. I really, really hope I don't lose. He's going to do... He's going to open with that. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to go for it. Well, I didn't get knocked out, <laughs> but he'll let you combo him more if you uh, if you manage to hit him rather than just dodging. And if you do have a star and you hit him after uh, punching him every time for the magic attack, you just take him down. If you triple star him, if I remember correctly, you just he's, he's done. All right, we've got a star off of there, and smack. Um. I can't remember if I've knocked him out twice in the previous rounds. Um, I don't know if this is a rule or not, but I've noticed, because I've fought Great Tiger a lot, um, if I knock him out six times total, like two in each round, he usually goes down. So hopefully that's true, and we can just take him down uh, after the next time we knock him out. Middle, right, right, left. Middle, right, right, left. And boom! I just, I'm so worried that I'm going to lose the star that I wanted to take the opportunity to use it. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! No, 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 no! If you start falling like, oh, no! I lost! Ah! This is pretty funny, though. Ugh. This belt, I don't deserve it anymore. Oh, well, that's just disappointing. Well, I'm out of time in this video, so next time we're going to rematch Great Tiger and get our belt back. Oh, also, after the first time you lose a fight in the career mode, uh, you, you get the practice mode. <laughs> I actually, when I was at my peak and I did a, a run through of Punch Out, I never ever got that screen for the practice mode, and so I never got that unlocked the cutscene for doing practice mode. Uh, in any case, next time we'll do a rematch.